Fourth point, we can choose to trust God's promises even when it seems like it may never happen. Have you ever come to the point where you're convinced what the Lord wants, but it seems like it's never going to happen? Uh, you know, he wants you to serve him, but there's so many obstacles, or you believe he wants you to have a godly family, but there's none in sight, or a godly marriage, and again, there's none in sight, or godly children, and you don't have it, and it just seems impossible. It's amazing. what. Look at verse 17, what he says. And behold, I myself, I am bringing the floodwaters to destroy from under heaven all flesh, which is the breath of life. And what, what I'm saying here is the Lord is talking, and the Lord lays out a very frightening plan through verse 22. And then God says in verse 1, look at chapter 7, verse 1, come into the ark. And did you know that God doesn't talk again for 370 days? Did you catch that? Did you know that Noah, he was embarking on something very difficult. He makes this big box and he, gets, he watches all the animals go in and God slams the door shut, just like he said. And now he doesn't, no calls from the Lord. I mean, he doesn't know how long he's going to be on that boat. He doesn't know when this is going to be over. And there's a constant storm and all the waves. Can you imagine what it was like on there? And God, 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 did you lose my number? Did you know what? I haven't heard from you. Do you understand? It says specifically that in the 600th year, if, if you look at, at what, it, what it says, in the 600th year, uh, look at verse 11. The 600th year of Noah's life in the second month in the 17th day of the month. That's chapter 7, verse 11. In that very same day, verse 13, they all went into the ark. And, and look all the way down to chapter 8 and verse 15. And it says, then God spoke to Noah. When was that? Verse 14. In the second month, on the 27th day of the month of the 601st year. That's verse 13. In the 601st year. Did you know God does not talk to him for 370 days? You know what that means? We can choose to trust God's promises even when it seems like they may never happen. God is silent for more than a year. The flood comes and the Lord doesn't speak again. This means that for 370 days of silence that Noah learned to trust God. Even when he didn't know the storm was going to, when it was going to be over, even when he didn't know where the boat was going to land, even then when he didn't know what he was going to do with all those animals, and even when he didn't know what he was going to do with his kids because they were asking him a million times, Dad, you got us in this boat, this ark. When is this going to be over? And he goes, I don't know. But God knows. And God asked us to come in. And we entered this ark. And God, his plan is to be followed even when it seems like it may never happen.